Have you ever heard about the Rose of Jericho? This plant that can resurrect after being dry for years in the desert. Sure you did, but are you 100% sure you were dealing with the actual Rose of Jericho? Do you, does it look like this? Or like that? Here's the thing, you don't mix up bats and birds just because they're both fly, do you? Then you should not confuse Anastetica yerotruntica and Selaginella lepidophilia. I know both are resurrection plants, tumbleweeds, uh, experts in surviving in the desert, and they are kind of called the same, but only one is the true rose of Jericho. Let me show you. Anastetica yerotruntica is called the true rose of Jericho, and the other one, Selaginella, is called the false walls of Jericho and for a good reason you will never find Selaginella around Jericho. The true rose is from an area that actually includes Jericho. The false rose, well, uh, comes from Central America. Not quite close neighbor, right? The true rose Anastetica is an angiosperm plant that belongs to the family of Brassicaceae, basically a cabbage. While the false rose Selaginella is a Lycopodiopsidae a primitive plant that is more or less halfway between a moss and a fern. Look at these stems. Uh, Anesthetica is branchy and wide meshed, while Selaginella is stemmy and fine meshed. In the plant world, they are as different as a bat and an eagle. Another thing that helps you to tell them apart, the true rose Anesthetica makes actual flowers to reproduce, looking just like mustard flowers. The false rose, Selaginella, makes sporangiums a reproductive structure typical of ancient plants like mosses or ferns. FYI, the true rose Anastetica responds to Rose of Jericho, Marion's flower, Flowers of St. Mary, St. Mary's flower, White Mustard flower. The false rose, Selaginella, has cooler name though. False rose of Jericho, Flower of Stone, Resurrection plant, Resurrection moss, Siempre Viva, Stone flower, Doladea, and dinosaur plant. By the way, if you want to know more about Selaginella and its resurrection superpowers, check out the description or the link at the end of the video. So now you're an expert at recognizing uh, resurrection plants. So share your knowledge, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for the next video and have a great day.